Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Isn't in the Cards Love Tarot reading for March 2022. This is a love reading for all Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love and positive energy every single day. And I hope that you are attracting the highest love into your lives because you deserve it. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. Friday's readings are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So today, of course, is a love reading, but next week it'll be something totally different. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love. What does Aquarius need to know about love, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Aquarius? Love messages for Aquarius, please. <clears throat> so we will start by drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards on the advice. Your energy is the Two of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Magician. Their energy is the star, the seven of wands, and the ace of cups. The advice is the world, the six of wands. Boy, my God, is that beautiful. And the three of cups. Well, we have three major arcana here. We've got wish fulfillment, transformation, nirvana. I mean, it's beautiful. Plus, we have the ace of cups. You have Aquarius here, and they have it in their energy, which I really love, because that means they're attracting you. Um, you have water, fire, and so it's like you've got this, it's like this romantic, passionate relationship that you're manifesting. If they're not here, they're coming. There's no doubt about that. This is an, a, probably the best reading out of any I've seen this month for love. Now, if you've met somebody already too, this relationship is flourishing. The two of wands is a card of success. Twos are about partnerships. And this is all about growing a partnership. It's looking into the future, making plans together, seeing a future together, and being head over heels in love with this energy around it. The two of wands too is really feeling like there's an, it's like an empowered energy together. The two of you together is makes a dynamic energy. With the Queen of Cups, um, you know, I mean, in terms of Aquarius too, I mean, even though you're an air sign, you're, you've got some overlap into water, right? And so with the Queen of Cups, the Queens and Kings are masters of the suit. It's like the mastery of love is here. The Queen of Cups too is a very trustworthy energy. So this person that you're attracting, they are going to find you to be somebody that they can completely open up to. They can be transparent with you. They will find you to be loving, compassionate. It's like a breath of fresh air as you come towards them and they come towards you. It's exactly, you are exactly who they're looking for. There's no doubt about it. The search is over here. With the Queen of Cups too, though, it's an energy of, you know, pleasure, fertility, beauty. It's that great life. And it really does feel like a homecoming. With the Magician, the Magician brings heaven to earth. It'll feel heaven sent. It'll feel like, ex like I said, exactly what you want is available. The magician has no shortage or lack conscious. Anything you want is there. The magician too, though, you've got the energy that creates worlds running through you. So meditate, but also sit down and write down a list of what you want. What are your heart's desires? Really get in touch with your own desires and know that they are available. And with the magician too, it's an energy of using the conscious mind to influence the subconscious. And when the subconscious, you know, people ask, what, how do I know it's in my subconscious? Well, look around you. What are your relationships like? And the magician will help you change that if it needs to be changed. But it really is a card of manifesting big time. It's law of attraction energy. It's beautiful. So the person that you are attracting is going to be quite smitten with you. I do feel like they're going to be protective of this relationship. Um, they've been, again, they've been looking for you too. So there's no, you know, there's no chasing here. It's a match. With the star card here, they're, they're going to feel like it's, you know, a gift from the heavens. They're going to be 
uh, blown away. It really is. A, it's, it's the, this is the kind of relationship where you're in awe of it, both of you. And you're, you know, you're in love, but you're, you're having fun and you're amazed and delighted with this. So their energy with the star is one where there's, you know, hope, of course, but there's this inner calm, this inner tranquility. And I think they are going to make a fabulous companion for you. Somebody who also will fit in with your, you know, your friend group, your family group, your coworkers. It's it's good. It's going to be a relationship that makes sense. It's not one of these things where you attract it and you go, well, maybe this will work. Opposites attract. It's very compatible energy, the two of you. So with the Seven of Wands, I feel like nothing's going to stop this. It's a card of successful conclusions, expansion, growth, development. Sevens are fortunate numbers in the tarot. And so it's also a card where the um, relationship's going to be very secure. I feel like they're going to be very protective of it. They will not do dumb things. Okay, somebody from the past texts them, they'll block the person. I almost said block the bitch. Um, but with this, um, it may, male or female, by the way. Um, they, they won't, they won't mess around with that kind of stuff. It's not important to them. What's important is the relationship. And with the Ace of Cups, it's all about initiations and beginnings. It's the kind of love that evolves, develops, and really runs the test of time. It is a beautiful love. There's an, you know, an essence of soulmate energy here, but there's this, more than that, this sort of loyalty and like investment in the relationship, but in a true partnership, it really is beautiful. And so with the Ace of Cups, again, they're going to be completely in love, infatuated, and in a place where they want to do what they can, anything they can um, to sustain this feeling. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> pardon me, in the advice, you've got an absolutely outstanding set of advice cards like I said, they're going to be amazed and delighted with that six of wands. You also with the six and the seven corresponding here, 78 cards here. So it's unique when we see cards that closely aligned. The world we know is that place that you've always wanted to go. It's exactly what you've asked. It's being called forth and the world is nirvana. It's that being totally, completely in love and feeling like it's, uh, you know, it's it, she's a dancer of the tarot, feeling glorious, feeling like a new energy that comes in that changes everything. And so there's no limit with this. There's no ceiling with this. It grows and evolves. Now, she can be associated with the number four for some of you. So it could be the next four weeks. Could even be April. Really, both of those are correspond, don't they, to four? But, <coughs> pardon me. With the um, Three of Cups there, that's a card of celebration and appreciation. That's a card often associated with celebrating an engagement. So I do feel like this moves along quickly and it becomes a serious commitment, like moving in together. Some of you, hell, you might elope over the summer. I see that happening for somebody here. And there's no second guessing. There's no turning back. You give yourselves fully to this relationship and you don't question it at all. There's no, like I said, there's nothing here that doesn't get, get in flow. It's like this evolution of true love. And you'll be that couple that people say, where did you meet? How did you find this? How do I do this? They're going to want your advice on how to be in this experience of what is an absolute love right from the heart. It is loving fully, wholly, and without limits. And so with the um, rest of this, let's see what the angels have to say for you, Aquarius. <clears throat> What does Aquarius need to know about love, please? Messages, love messages for Aquarius. <clears throat> and anything else for Aquarius? All right, so you have golden opportunities. So if you haven't met this person, the magician and the world will, will conspire, you're a co-creator too, to put you in the right place at the right time to meet up and to meet this person and manifest. You have here, be assertive. And with the wands that are here, especially the seven, and in the six too, that's an energy of confidence, of moving forward and being in that place too, where you're not afraid to take a risk. You know, if you meet somebody, you may be very transparent and I feel like it'll be reciprocated. There won't be, like I said, any second guessing or questioning the relationship. 
they say look for a sign. So if you keep seeing like an event or something, it, that may be it. One of those things where you go, oh, this keeps popping up. It pops up on my social media. I don't know why this is here. I didn't like anything related to this. That can be a sign to go to those things, to put yourself out there. With the, um, um, sorry, this is you're ready. I apologize. Um, you're ready, they say. <clears throat> and you've got, you've got choose a new direction. So for some of you, that may indicate, again, do things that are outside of the box. That's in your nature anyway. Pick places that maybe you don't ordinarily go and, and allow the universe to guide you. Allow those signs to, to resonate and, and follow them because there's definitely love in these cards. I love you too and I'll be back again soon.